Okay, now we're going to shape the prop spar and we're going to put a hole in it for the prop shaft. Uh, we have our prop spar that's four inches long. Uh, we've sanded it to the exact length. Uh, we have our prop shaft. Uh, I'm going to use uh, a little uh, uh, wood plane. Uh, and I've also got a piece of very well used sandpaper. Uh, don't throw out your used sandpaper. Um, keep some pieces um, uh, that are soft um, because you'll need them to, uh, to work on really light stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the center point of the spar. I'm going to take our shaft. We don't, if you have a, um, um, a numbered drill set, you can use a, a fine drill. Otherwise, use something like this piece of wire that's blunt. We, we want to poke a hole through right in the middle, right through to the other side. Just like that. Don't use a pin because it will uh, just push the wood out of the way and make the hole too tight. So now we have a hole. That's our midpoint. I'm just going to take the, uh, the plane here and I'm going to start out near the tip and I'm going to work my way back about a quarter of an inch at a time on the edges until I've uh, shaped it down a little bit. So I'll, I'll, I'll make about uh, um, four passes on each um, thing. So I've gone once on at about a quarter back to a half, come back a bit more, come back a bit more. Kind of hard to show you this on the camera. I'm finally making one pass here um, all the way from the hub out. Don't cross through the hub because uh, the shape won't be right. So now I'll go to the next corner. I'll just start out at the edge or the end here and one pass, come back a bit, another 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 pass, come back a bit, and finally again, just before the mark, just before the center of the hub, one great big long pass. Alright, and I'll turn it again, another 90 degrees, get another uh, edge, quarter, half, three quarters of an inch, a bit more than an inch, working my way back to the center, one big long pass. I have one edge left right here, so we'll do the same. Quarter, half, a little longer, a little longer. Work our way right back to the to the middle of the thing. Now, as I was planing out towards the end, the balsa would bends a bit, and uh, you don't get as much um, cut. So I'm just going to go back out to the end and uh, manually taper it down a little bit by eye. This does not have to be really exact at this point because uh, we're going to sand the actual shape. I'm just getting rid of excess wood here. Now you don't need to use a plane. You could use an X-Acto knife. You could sand the whole thing. But this plane cuts uh, pretty nice, even on delicate wood. I'm just rotating the, uh, the spar, being mindful of where the center is, and just taking little cuts. Very, very, very thin cuts. Probably about uh, five or six thou at a time. So I don't know if you can see it, 
but there's already a taper starting to develop on the spar. There's our center mark. Now we're going to take our, our sandpaper and just wrap it around in a circle, hold it very gently, and just twist the prop shaft in your hand. Again, you're holding this really gently. Okay? If you clamp down on this at all, there will not be a prop shaft inside. Just hold it like that, and by eye, sand the pieces that you need to sand until you start to see the, the taper develop. We want it to be pretty much down to nothing by the time we get it out to the tip. Take your time. This isn't something you'll do in uh, 30 seconds or a minute. You're going you're gonna to be at this for a bit of time. Now obviously the more you remove, the lighter this shaft is. And the lighter this shaft is, the lighter your whole prop is. And that means that you can use smaller rubber. Smaller rubber weighs less. And that means our airplane will stay up in the air longer. So there you can see the spar really starting to take shape. Uh, I can probably sand it um, for another uh, three or four minutes and uh, reduce its uh, uh, diameter a bit more. But that's essentially what we want. And uh, when we come back to the meeting, what we're going to do is we'll put the blades on that shaft and uh, we'll put the uh, we'll put the prop shaft through um, and uh, bend that and glue it.